that big T fashion everyone you're welcome to my youtube channel you're welcome to victory fashion up with victoria Nietzsche. how are you all doing hope you're fine how's everything so like you see i'm ready i want to draft out the video and if you're watching this and you have not subscribed to my youtube channel i don't know what you're waiting for make sure you subscribe and turn off notification button to see more of my video when i upload it so if you have not seen how i draft out this pattern paper for this female trouser with a zip lap i'm going to link the link i'm going to put the link or down below so you can just go and watch it before watching this because on today's tutorial we are going to be showing the outfit i'm going to be placing this on top of this materials and we cut it out so the first thing that we are going to be doing and if you are a returning subscriber i love you guys so much and new new if you are new year you're welcome thank you so much for coming in you're chilling in so you're welcome so if it's what you want to learn about how to make a trouser a pattern trouser with this in the pattern is the video is already on my channel so we're going to be showing this trouser if it's what you want to learn you can stay tuned to watch so the first thing i'm going to be doing i'm going to be placing this this pin with it so because i don't want shift or something so i'm going to be placing this to cut out the front and the back then i'll come back and show you guys then i'll tell you guys the next step after this so stay tuned uh, so i'm done as you can see this is the this thing and for the band so this is the pocket that i'm going to be using so this can you get the band the band this is how i ensure it to sews same waist add one inches to it then add two inches for the button in the front so that is how i do it and i come up with this like then the next thing now is we are going to be keeping this we are coming back to it when we are when we get there so for this, I'm going to be removing this pin out of it. Before I remove this, I'm going to be notching out the dots from this. So I hope you can see it. So I'll notch out the dots. And yeah, so this is it. So as you can see, I put the two inches for the turning in. Okay. Don't forget, so your print will not be too small. So you now become toplic. And and toplic straws is always nice too. I've seen it before and it's nice. So fashion is everywhere. So after removing this, before putting this, sorry, before putting this up. Okay. We are going to draw out this what I did. And I don't know if you guys can see. I'm going to draw out this thing that we draw out. Let me check. We draft it out like this. Just the way you sit here. Then for the zipper part, we are going to be using seven inches. So you measure seven inches from here to here. I've already measured it down. So you you notch it down, you use your chalk to so you take it to your machine and sew from year to year so we sew from year to year after sewing i'm going to come and show you guys the next step that we're going to do how we're going to fix the zip to it there's not actually light but as soon as there's light i'll make it and do the necessary things so for the back i'm going to be notching the back too for the that and 
and then remove the pink. There's not much for the back actually. So for Chosa, mostly the, the paparazzi is always on the front. Palazzo Chosa. There's not really paparazzi set in the Chosa. So after removing this, just wear it. I'll take you to my machine and sew this piece down. We're gonna sew this piece. So we sew this piece and I'm going to weave it, give it a good press, and then we come back to the next step. How the back I'm gonna do this. Okay guys, so now I'm done. <laughs> I'm done sewing this place. As you can see, this is the back. So for the front, we are going to base on this thing. <coughs> Sorry. On the this is for the front. As you can see, I've done the stitches to this place. So the next thing I'll do is notch this place so my zip will sit well. So after doing this, this is how it's going to be. I think this inches is too small. Maybe I'll lose a little bit out there. I'll lose it a little bit down. I want it to be more down a bit. So, but let's just continue. So this is how it's going to look the left side closing the right side just like the way i'm arranging it so for this zip i would advise you use the smaller zip i couldn't see the color of this zip for the smaller size so i have to use this one so it's going to be hard so for this okay guys so as you can see this is the the first place that we're going to be fixing zip is the down part. The one is not the one that is going to close it, the one that is going to be in the back. Then you flick this one like this. Then this zipper part, I would advise you use the smaller one so you know waste zip or whatever. So you split it just the way like this side will be here from the left side. You just fix it. You can see the straight I'm going through because of this long side. But it is actually the short one. You can actually so you pin it down like this. So guys, after pinning this space, you now flip flip it up. You see it's like this before it the side like this and now you are going to be joining let me zip you are going to be joining this space to the middle of here it's not going to join it to this three inches but to the middle split the middle you can iron it into two so you could get the midpoint then you split it into two So after pinning it, like you can see, this is how it's going to look. It's because I've not pinned to it well, so it's going to look. The half inch is really well placed, so, and I will give it a good place, so it will be close like this, as you can see, to be close like this. So after I, I'm going to sew it, sew the zip to it, then I'm going to now, let me go and sew it, so I'll show you guys the next step. I'm going to do after this all right guys i'm done as you can see this is the zip look at how it looks when i did and i give it a good press this is how it's so 
if you want to make it this is how your own should be so after this we are going we are going to do you measure this is my measurement you measured one one and a half inch from here then you notch it you give guys this is one inches then you cuff it where the sewing stop and it's gonna give us the shape that trouser used to have and after that then i'll fix the pockets how to fix pockets i'll link the link that i fixed pocket video on this page is or is on my page for the palazzo trouser so i'll just fix i'll sew this place then i'll fix the pocket then i'll come and show you guys the next step we are going i'll be back hope you guys are loving this because i really really love it this is my first time making this kind of trouser actually it's so nice i usually just make trousers at palazzo but normally i tell you to put the zip in the back in the back or side but this one i'm talking it in front and i'm doing it in a classic beautiful way like normal red meat trouser is making sense so i said i should show you guys how it looks look at it so nice look at the i'm still going to weave all this inside but oh my god I love the way it looks actually oh yeah so nice so let me fix the pocket and i'll show you guys the next step okay guys i hope you guys can see it how it turned out to be look at the the sewing that i sewed the i cleaned the chalk because i wanted to i hope you guys are seeing the sewing look at how the sewing gonna honestly i fixed the pocket as in it's really coming out nice look at the that's nice so the next thing that we're going to do now sorry about the noise that's the reason why i couldn't even do video out because this nepal did not quickly bring light so i couldn't these children have come back so they are shouting <laughs> but i love to do video when they are not around but nepal do not bring light they are back from school so the next thing now is god guys <laughs> sorry then the next thing now is the back so you just help me to manage the video like that god god so the next thing is that i'm going to put it that for the back as you can see i've now weaved the inside i'm even thinking of weaving the inside before joining it together so the next thing that hey jesus the next thing that we are going to do now is i'm going to be joining the side the side with one inches and i'm going to be joining the crotch the crotch depth together so let me join it and come and show you guys then we talk we now talk about the band and we are almost done i can't wait it's so it's gonna be nice and i'm actually done joining the side and the crotch line this is how it actually look it's looking nice already let me show you guys sorry so look at the down part and the difference between is that we are going to be joining this down part a little bit inside it will be open in this side i hope you understand so the next thing now is we are going to be fixing the band so because this zip is too long i'm still going to be cutting it out when i'm fixing the band let me show you guys the band and we are I'm going to be showing how you are going to fix it to your dress right now so this is the band as you can see it's actually i've already ironed the normal state to it for strongness like like i told you guys the join and um, how you can get your band your waist with one inches or half inches and two inches for the where the bottom will be so that's how you get your band so when you're joining your band you are going to put right side facing the left side of the dress just like this i'll be showing you guys how you are going to place this band to this fabric as you can see i'm going to open the zip i'm still going to cut it into cut some on the zip and then you're going to place the right side of this band to the left side of the fabric and you now leave like half inch for the joining 
need the hard finish then you start so you start using your pin to hold it and so round so round and sew it to the, to the end of this space so i feel i added more band to it so i'm going to be trimming out a little bit so after that let me go and do that then come and show you guys how i'm going to just uh, turn this and do the casing for the button button casing then i'll tell you guys how others will be done let me go and do it up i'm done joining like i told you guys from the inner as you can see so before we cut out the before we turn it inside i've not cut out this i'll cut it out very soon then i'll just make a stitch here to have so i'll make a stitch here i'll make i'll turn this one too and make a stitch and so you know the space has to be neat so i'm going to make a stitch and turn it like this so let me do it and show you guys okay guys as you can see i've joined this place then you trim it i've done the other side so i'll show you guys very soon then you clean it and you're going to turn it just turn it so turning this place you are going to be using your knee um, they run this thing that they used to use to remove this thing if you don't have you can use your scissors just the way i'm doing then you push it out to give you the sharp edges 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 <laughs> oh my god though. when you bow in a key somebody somebody <laughs> so this is the this is how it's going to look oh my god so this is the other side i've torn it inside so this is how this one too is going to look so we are going to give it a press then join it like this i hope you've seen it join it inside like this from the out from the inside so we'll give it a good press so let me show you guys how the front is going to look so this is how it's going to look so this is how it's going to look after make after doing the finish so look at the front and yeah let me do the turning and give it a good press thank you so much for watching when i give it a good press finish i'll come and show you guys there. but this is how it needs when you just turn it like this you give it a good nice press then you go to the down part cut it sew the down part and i'll do and do everything now then i'll come and show you guys later and you watched it now you have not subscribed to my youtube channel i don't know what you're waiting for please make sure you subscribe and turn off the notification button to see more of my video when i upload it i'll be back this is how it's going to look i've done the loop for the button but i've not fixed the button yet Look how neat, gorgeous it looks. I've not give it a good press, so you give it a good press. I just want to show you guys the hand. Let me show you guys the down part. So as you can see, I've not knitted very well, just so it finished. So you see the down part is open, and you see this is the second part, is the side is open. So that is it. Look at how beautiful, beautiful it looks. I love it so much. Are you not loving it? So thank you so much for watching and if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, I don't know what you're waiting for. Please make sure you subscribe and turn off the notification button to see more of you guys very soon. Thank you to see when I upload new video. Thank you so much. I love you guys. Please make sure you comment down below. Comment. I love you guys. And bye guys. See you on my next video. Hoo -hoo.